called, he said those were your father's things. Your real father. It's monogrammed. There's more. It's a copy of my birth certificate. Mother, Roxanne Balsam, father. I swear to you, to both of you, I didn't kill anyone. You didn't do this. You didn't dig Nash's body up and bring it here. God, no. Then who the hell did? That would be me. Father. Mitch Lawrence. Mitch Lawrence. So, my father is Mitch Lawrence? And the women were terrified. And they bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said unto them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Mitch. Yes, daughter. But you're dead. Well, as the man said, rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. Please, is there any way to speak to your husband? You are not my husband. God, is this, is this your crazy ex? Is this Mitch? Crazy? Natalie, I'm hurt. I thought you said he was dead. I thought he was dead. He was. I killed him. Not very Christian of you, daughter. You and Natalie are clearly in need of uh, enlightenment. But worry not. We will recommit ourselves to the way of truth together as a family. It's a lie. Hey, it has to be. Mitch died years ago. Roxy got the stem cells from my father last winter. Honey, you can't believe a word that comes out of that woman's mouth. It was a perfect match. Uh, that is true, but it doesn't mean it came from your father. Why would she lie? Okay, she's a liar. We know that, but so are you. I apologize for dragging you here and, and drugging you, but I was scared to death. Do you think I want any of this to be true? I wouldn't wish Mitch Lawrence on my worst enemy. All I know is what's in that envelope, the proof. That my father is a psychopath. You lost any right to us. Let your women keep silent in churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. Let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Oh, yeah? How about a greenhouse? Does that count? I don't remember what Mitch sounded like, and it was on the phone. But you believed him. That this birth certificate is legit. And that Mitch Lawrence somehow got with Roxy. Well, I know that my brother was involved with, with Lawrence and his people in the cult when Roxy got pregnant. And the thing about Lawrence, he, he could make anybody do anything. That's what Walter always used to say. Jared, no, no! Listen, my daughter, unless, of course, you've grown tired of Natalie and you'd like to watch me slice her throat. I swear to God, if you hurt her, I would never hurt my lovely bride. I have plans for her. You've done that much. Uh, not anymore. And I do have a weakness for redheads. Don't do it, Lawrence. You won't do anything with these if he does anything to us, John McBain. I'll make sure that you do it. Mm, I wouldn't count on that. John McBain is in Landview, chasing his tail. <laughs> 
sorry I dropped the ball. This thing with Natalie just took over everything, and I... Oh, God, I was supposed to call her. Well, she was still in California. Yeah, she stayed with Jessica. That was probably her on the phone. Okay. Hey, it's John McBain. Hey, John. Good, you tracked down my sister. I haven't, I haven't spoken to her since I got back. You haven't heard. Heard what? What the hell are you... Keep it. I might have another one in the same color. You okay? Yeah, it just hurts to smile. Natty? Let's do it. Well, I will, as soon as he gets home from seeing Natalie. Is Nanny back? Did she find Jared? What? You didn't hear. Hear what? Rex went to see Natalie because Jared is dead. told me about being sick. It was a lie. It was just about getting me away from you. I should have never left you. No, I'm glad that you did. Why? Because, Rex, if I lost you too... Hey, I'm not going anywhere. That, that's what Jared thought. That's what Jared thought. Even, even the doctors thought that he was going to be okay. He was awake, and, and we were talking, and then he kissed me, and, and then he just shut his eyes and slept away because that bastard killed him. What bastard? What are you talking about? Jared was murdered. What are you? John didn't tell you what happened. No, there wasn't time. He just he just called me and and told me that that Jared was dead and that you needed me. So I hung up and I flew out of there. What, what happened? Did, did, did the cops shoot him? No. No, Jared's innocent. He's been set up from the beginning. He didn't kill Wayne Landers or Pamela Stewart. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I just figured that maybe Jared called Corinne and got her to lie to me. No. No, Jared didn't even know anything about that. He didn't? No, even John thinks that Jared was framed. Who does John believe is behind all this? You're not going to believe this. Mitch Lawrence. I pray to you, oh Lord, saying... You are my refuge. You are all that I need. Mitch Lawrence? Yeah, he was behind all of it. The stalking and the, the murders and, and getting you to Michigan, getting Brody's sister to drug him, all of it. Uh, uh, I mean, I know the guy has a serious following, at least here in Landview, but he still has people willing to kill people for him. Wait, unless it was his brother. What was his name? Miles? No, I, I don't think Miles would be involved in this. So who does John think did these killings? I told you, Mitch Lawrence. But Mitch is dead. That's what he wanted everyone to think. But I saw him kill Jared. Mitch Lawrence is alive and well. Hello, my friend. You got five minutes. Officer. You see before you the power of prayer. <laughs>